If you say the word Kenya and Israel, as I told President Kenyatta a few minutes ago, it evokes an immediate positive feeling. And uh, I'm sure that's true of the word Israel for many parts of Kenyan society until today, because I understand there's a traffic problem. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, I don't understand. We, we are driving through Nairobi, there is no pr traffic problem. <laughs> but, but nonetheless, uh, I'm sorry that of the many um, pleasurable things that this visit evokes, and good things, the things for good, to borrow President Kenyatta's phrase, there is this inconvenience, so I apologize to the people of Kenya who have to wait, the people of Nairobi who have to wait in line. And may I tell you that we too have waited decades for this visit. We're glad to be here. <laughs> Everything uh, President Kenyatta said is true. It's true. And we have uh, been discussing things that we are doing and things that we will do. And the more we talk, the more we discover more things to do. And this I'm not saying uh, is lip service, this is true. There is sometimes you see a meeting of the minds, and I think also a meeting of the hearts. And this is something that I feel is happening between our peoples. And in many ways, it even surpasses the, the obvious interest, the obvious coherence of interests in development, in security, in technology, in entrepreneurship, in water, in agriculture, in security, and in communications, and in health, and every conceivable area that you can think of. The possibilities are enormous, and the needs are enormous. And when the needs and the way to satisfy those needs meet, something happens, and something is happening here. But I think there is something...